Hey, what's going on guys? This is Lurkin from Mobilytics and we have a crit for Frostclaw build. I'm going to go over this stuff really high level and briefly. All credit to this build goes to uh, Masin Bresky. Uh, he's pushing 18, he pushed 1000 corruption with this uh, with this variant of the build and he's pushing 1800 corruption uh, with Spark Claw, with Spark Charge Frostclaw. So you can check out all his stuff. Uh, his planners will be linked in there, and then as well as like my starter, my starter planner. Uh, I think that's the one thing. The reason I'm making this video is there was no starter planner. His stuff was like pure end game, so I just like was kind of figuring out how to build it on the way. But so this build is, it's based around Morning Frost and Twisted Heart. So Twisted Heart leeches your health and then gives you, uh, gives you ward based on how much health it takes from you. Uh, you're going to want to put like cold damage or int or uh, ranks the frost claw on this if you get a chance so you should be farming farming reign of dragons and then be doing helmet chest and boot prophecies unique prophecies to get that stuff uh, next is the morning frost this is a common drop uh, so you should be able to get this you're going to want to slam dex or int onto here uh, next is swaddling of the erase this gives us some Plus four to all of our attributes. We get cast speed, more spell damage to low health enemies, and then see what goodies. This is a Weaver's Will, so you see what goodies you can run out of it. Next, you're going to want rings. You can either run like two Sapphire rings. You're going to want Int Dex, and then two Resists. I just don't have that. And then one of them can be a Jolra's, uh, if your Resistances can't afford it. So, but mine can't. Uh, next, you're going to want a belt. You're going to want the 250 armor belt. This is just what I have. And as, as most people know, a lot of these builds are just Frankensteins just thrown together. So this is what I have. You'll see all the stats in the planner of what you want um, in the planners. <laughs> uh, next, you're going to want the crystal skull. That's kind of non-negotiable. Uh, you're going to want like a T7 uh, cast speed and then like cold damage uh, and then or, or cold pen. I'm not entirely sure just what you can get cast speed and some form of damage on there and then like two resists uh or like a resistant uh shred armor next is unstable core mine's terrible as you can see 32 elemental damage and 13 mana so that's that's why my mana is so low and it just doesn't feel good but you can just run a normal chest this one isn't too critical to the build the main reason i have it is because i was able to slam the reduced bonus damage taken from critical strikes because that is what is going to nuke you once you start pushing like i'm upwards of 400 corruption and i can already start to feel it uh next is a mad alchemist ladle and before you get like all the decks and everything that you want if you can get your hands on just like a t7 scepter uh i'd run that that's pretty like a t7 scepter or like a t7 want a t7 scepter with the mana regen with the with the mana cost roll so it's minus three or just like any form of wand that's good you could run for that, but this is good. It applies a ton of ailments. You're gonna to want to slam like cold damage or crit strike multiplier, ignite or stun on it. Uh, a bunch of damage from the ailments, a ton of cast speed per intelligence. Uh, next, yeah, the unstable core, as I said, you can just run like a normal chest if you don't have one. Something like this would be good. A tyrant regalia for the spell damage. That's huge. Next is the bone clamor. This is mainly taken because of the ward. It's mainly taken because it has dex and int on it. To be all honest, and then you're gonna to want to slam dex onto it. And then one ward per. One ward per second per 3% uncapped necrotic resistance. That's just like a little nice buff to the ward. I have an Omnis. 
uh, that's rolled not well, but this is what I have. So this is sort of like the Shaco of amulets. I just got really lucky with it. But you're going to want this amulet. Something that looks like this with, I think it's cold pen. Let me look at the planner real quick. Let's just pull it up here. Yeah, so it's cold damage, cold pen, physical resistance, chance to shred armor. I should really just go over this planner. <laughs> yeah, and then the bone clamor with Dex, Ladle. He's got crit strike multiplier and cold damage on there with stun chance. Good luck getting a T3, though. Unstable core, intelligence, and armor. Uh, this is cast speed, cold damage with two resists on the crystal skull. He's got the opal ring with index, two resists. Uh, next, we have the Praetorian belt. Mana regen cold to resist. Uh, you're never going to get this. So this is why I have Jolra spotted. The ring of Jolra spotted there. Because this is like the rarest amulet in the game. This is the rarest ring in the game. Then you have your swaddle with uh, whatever stats that you can manage to get onto it. Hopefully int or something like that. Uh, then next, like, and then, yeah, reduce dam bonus damage taken from critical strikes and decks on here. But good luck getting that. So that's why I kind of opt to say... Maybe instead of int on here, you try and slam like a T7, like how I did, slam like a T7 reduced critical strike thing on here. And then Twisted Heart, where he's got the plus three to Frost Claw. Uh, so I'll link all this stuff. Um, I'll briefly go over the skills. So one note, one thing I want to notice is that in his planner, when you look on his skills, he uses Flame Ward. And, and then for me, I use Rune of it. I use... Whatever the hell this is called. Runic Invocation. The reason I use Runic Invocation over Flame Ward is because I have DR on demand. Because it goes... Fr the way I have my skill bar set up, Frost, Fire, Frost. And that one's a, a shield that gives you a ton of ward. And it gives you 30% DR. So I'm not going to go into the specifics. You can look at the planner and see these. I'll have this in my planner. Like this setup with uh, lower lower amounts. Uh, and then his planner will have the flame ward version. Then you're taking static orb. You're taking this so that you can proc rune of. Dis you're taking it so that you can proc uh, brand of deception. And then it gives you spell damage against bosses and ward gain against bosses. So that's the whole point of that. And it does some damage. It does some other stuff. Shocks enemies. Does does some things. Oh, and the biggest thing. The reason why static. Static orb is taken is so that you can get lightning aegis. And that's because you have these increased cast speed when you have lightning aegis. So like until you get this throne of ambition, you'd slot another one right there. So you can get a ton of uh, you can get a ton of cast speed out of these. Uh, next is our frost claw. Uh, so we have some damage nodes, some mana cost nodes, and then we come down here. Uh, these basically these nodes right here down the side, and then these nodes up here. They basically make it so. The frost claw goes out in this huge area and it's returning to you and it's basically just clipping everything like a ton so that's what that's about and then you get some damage here some crit chance here uh lowers mana cost here and then you do you do have some melee damage in the build uh and that's from the the cold i believe that's from the cold damage here the plus one cold damage to attacks so i think that gives you cold melee damage uh so that's what that's about uh next we have our flame rush this gives us some DR, uh, and then it persists after we do it. Uh, this gives us some mana, mana efficiency and increased cooldown. And uh, I w wish I could hit the 150 fire res so that it could double, but whatever. Uh, we f travel faster and farther, and then we get another ailment to apply to a boss or something through the fire resistance shred. Uh, and then the big thing here is that we're spawning a, a static orb. And yeah. All lightning resistance shred is converted to cold resistance shred. So, so something happens. We're, we're shredding some resistances. And then our biggest... This is our mana regen right here. So it's always shooting projectiles. And it's only going to be cold and fire. Uh, so here, mana gain with cold bolt 6. And then we gain some health back with the fire bolt. So that's pretty big. Uh, we're going to shred some resistances here. Some armor shred chance. And then getting rune weave stacks that are going to give us... Mana spent is ward gain. Mana spent gained is ward per stack. So when we have the rune weave from alternating rune bolt and frost claw, then we're gonna get a bunch of ward back and mana regen, and we have some mana gain chance here. So this is pretty huge. This just gives us gives us some haste so that we can move fast. 
uh, and then this one converts the lightning bolt to cold. So it's it's pretty nice. It's just a simple, you know, cast rune bolt two three times, and then just hold down. I hold down two, just spam frost claw, and then I uh, flame flame rush around from place to place, and just kind of sort of put myself on a pivot. Once you so in the lower tier corruptions, you can really just like zoop around and like shred. But once you start pushing higher tier corruptions, you are gonna have to play that mid range a little bit more. So I hope you like this guys. And if you're super sweaty, definitely just go straight. I would say go straight to uh, Mazen uh the spark, spark charge frost claw build. But if you're like a beginner like me, uh, I like this one. It's good. I'm I'm at 400 corruption. It feels pretty good. I'm just kind of cruising. Only get nuked every every now and again, and then it's, it's mainly a user error combined with the lag. But I hope you guys like it. Uh, Gauntlet's coming out tomorrow for Diablo 4, so I'll be back on there with uh, with some juicy builds, maybe some meme builds too. Maybe we'll run some Hydra or something. But uh, all right, I'll catch you guys. I think maybe next I'll try Plasma Orb. <laughs> we'll see.